now friends coming to systematics so what is systematics it is the entire process of identification nomenclature classification and taxonomy of organism this was actually explained by simpson in 1961 previously we were using as synonym classification and taxonomy or systematics but he ultimately explained us that there is difference between all these three terms okay and systematics is the entire process which includes all of them so now see how suppose suppose we have found an organism so how we do systematics here so uh, now see first of all we identify that organism this identification is done with the help of keys so now dosto what is keys keys are a set of questionnaires a series of questions so like suppose you enter an icic bank after that they give you a questionnaire aapko bank kaisa laga how you felt this bank who helped you how how was it so you write that feedback form na similarly what we have we are having a printed questionnaire by with the help of which we identify an organism suppose you have got a you have got a animal lying here somewhere in a, in an island theek hai so first first of all what you will ask with him a hey, bhai zinda hai hamara live or dead if it is living then again two things will happen it is a higher animal or lower animal if it is higher animal then two things will happen either you are a mammal or you are a non mammal if it is a mammal then what do you ask higher mammal or lower mammal if it is a higher mammal then what do you ask you are bipedal or quadrupedal if it is a, a bipedal then what do you ask you are having higher cranial capacity or lower if it is having higher cranial capacity then what do you say uh, now this is a man so what we have done we have identified so these identification are done with the help of keys there are two types of key first is indented key or yoked key in this what i have told you that we go on fragmenting the different characteristics theek hai so this was the story here we go on subdividing subdivision is there of different contrasting characters now coming to bracket key this is the uh, same type of key but written in a different format in this we give different bracket number to different contrasting character theek hai but here no subdivision is make so this is the only difference so now see we have identified an organism now second thing what we do we do nomenclature what is nomenclature bhaiya it is to give name the oldest name was this naming system was tribal system or polynomial means in this system we were, we were writing the different names on the basis of different characters found in the organism so hence that name will become very very large and composite to be practically used so we didn't use this like a name i am calling you poos paisa try we can't use why this name was given he was born in 1965 he was roy and born in the month of poos in hindi so we can't use those type of name like we are having svc cmc ganesha so what is this this is name from andhra pradesh it will reveal the entire birth place and parentage of that that individual so but these names we practically never follow so what we follow we till today follow the binomial nomenclature which was given by carl von linne who is now carlos linne see myself made his name in two form so the basic thing is binomial nomenclature which we are using right now there are different rules you might be knowing those rules that genus should be written in capital later on is followed by specific specific epithet is we should be written in a small letter scientists should be abbreviated and this this should be very clear in your mind i think so there is nothing to explain in it ha uh, one thing will i will let you know that suppose the name is renamed by any other scientist then what we write we write the old name in bracket and the new scientist will come in full like trinomial nomenclature this was propounded by lamarck he gave the human name as he gave three name system he gave human name as homo sapiens sapiens so what you write in it they go into the last rule of binomial nomenclature we write linnaeus in bracket and then comes lamarck in full so this is the modern method of writing the name now naming systems nowadays are icbn means international code for botanical nomenclature as it is for geological nomenclature for microbial nomenclature for viral nomenclature for whatever you write so for each we are having different codes international code for microbial nomenclature international code for viral nomenclature and so on these are very important these has been asked in pmt also so better you know all these things 
नाउ सी कम टू क्लासिफिकेशन वट इज क्लासिफिकेशन भैया इट इज द ग्रुपिंग ऑफ इंडिविजुअल अकॉर्डिंग टू सिमिलर द सिमिलैरिटी इन करेक्टर सो वी मेक डिफरेंट क्लासेस ऑन द बेस ऑफ सिमिलैरिटी एंड डिसिमिलैरिटी डेट वी डिस्कस इन क्लासिफिकेशन लेक्चर देन कम्स टेक्सोनोमी इट इज द लास्ट स्टेप इन द फील्ड ऑफ सिस्टमेटिक इन दिस वट वी डू वी अरेंज द अकॉर्डिंग टू सम लॉ like we allot any any taxon or any level to the different group of organism which we have already classified like basic unit of classification is species species is the basic unit what is species species is group of individual which freely interbreed among themselves and produce and produce 100% fertile progeny so that is known as biological concept of species now group of similar type of species becomes a genera group of similar genera becomes family group of similar family becomes order and so on we are having different seven taxonomic group right now these taxonomic group are arranged according to the taxonomic hierarchy but in linnaeus there were only five system their basic level was their basic level was what we say is variety but now we didn't use this our basic level now is species now coming to taxonomic aid which we use first of all is herbarium seed we all know what are herbarium seed we all might have prepared also juice park botanical gardens so now see you have to cram the famous botanical gardens of india famous parks of india juice of india and which is the longest shortest this is must like royal botanical garden is the biggest botanical garden in this world located in england this has been oftenly asked in pmt now coming to manuals monographs these are also very good taxonomic aid which reveals the entire detail about that system now coming to the left system of classification we are having nowadays three systems of classification first was natural this was given by bentham and hooker this is based on entire natural classic characters which is provided inside the organism like suppose we are discussing a plant gossypium herbaceum what you say is cotton so what are characteristic of cotton it is often cross pollinated it is having mucilage in it it's having monadal stamen if suppose i am writing the if suppose i am giving the name or classifying the cotton according to all natural characteristics present net so what will happen so this will devise a natural system natural position classification theek hai this was originally given by bentham and hooker theek hai this is considered nowadays also best system but demerit is that in this gymnosperm has been placed between diagonal and monoid which is a biggest blunder so till today we are following this only but only this is an exception which we don't use now coming to artificial system this is most common this is most common given by carlos linnaeus which is based on artificial term like he called female sex organ as carpel so entire system has become world is using carpel for female sex organ but what is the literal meaning of carpel nobody knows this is artificial term like we do not know the the meaning of hello everybody is telling on to fetch your phone and hello hello what is hello it is an artificial term given by gram bell so similarly what we do linnaeus gave carpel to female sex organ and that became the basis of his classification as what we called sexual system of classification theek hai now it is also known as numerical system because he classified it as monocarpellary bicarpellary tricarpellary polycarpellary hence the artificial system is also known as numerical system of classification lastly coming to the phylogenetic system this was given by anglan and prantel what it is first of all then it was followed by hutchinson hutchinson <coughs> then tipu <coughs> so they are the recent workers on these things so on phylogenetic system phylogenetic consider, considers only the evolutionary characteristic it never consider the natural characteristic so this is its demerit so till today which is best that is natural system of classification